this is a help video for you if you're learning third position on the viola. We're going to learn a tune called Largo. It's from Viola Time Sprinters and it's number 25 on page 22. Now you're going to need to find your third position again. <laughs> like you did before and practice playing that scale that G major scale so that you're used to those notes and where your fingers go it's all using that same pattern space space and squish on both of those strings now for your first bar, you're going to have two fingers on the D string, but you can move your first finger over onto the A string because that's where the note that you want is. That's the second note that you can play. It'll go like this. And you've got all of the notes that you need prepared for that first bar. Then hop your first finger back over Three, two, one, and you've got the notes that you need for the second bar. So that beginning bit goes. In bars three and four, you're going to need the D on the A string. So you can hop your first finger back over there. It goes two, three. D on the A string, back over onto three fingers on the D string, and two fingers on the D string. So here are the first four bars. Find your third position, make sure your three fingers are prepared, and then your first finger hops over. One, two, three, four. and six are exactly the same as bars one and two but then bars seven and eight go finger two finger three finger two again finger one throughout this piece watch out for the dotted rhythms the dotted crotchet quaver rhythm goes da 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 like that. It happens an awful lot in this piece. Watch out for where it happens and for where it doesn't happen. In bars seven and eight, it goes. You've got a dotted rhythm at the end of bar seven, but not at the beginning of it. So here are the first eight bars. Make sure you're in the right position with your fingers on the right string. One, two, three, four. Now for the middle section. The middle section starts at bar 9 and goes on to bar 16. You'll be playing all of this on the A string. Your first bit at bar 9, two fingers and then four fingers on the A string. So it will go and then finger three, one, two. So nine and ten go bars eleven and twelve two four three one two let's do that together one two three four and here 
here are bars 9 to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. The next four bars are exactly the same. So let's play through the whole of the second section. Starting at bar nine, make sure that your second finger is in place and your fourth finger is ready to play. One, two, three, four. starting at bar 17 starts the same as the beginning the first four bars are exactly the same and then at bar 22 that's where it starts going differently so we're going to start at bar 21 it starts the same as the beginning you can do the same thing with your fingers as you did in the first bar then you're going to need to hop your first finger back over to the D string So bars 21 and 22 go like this. And then in bar 23, we have a new note, one that you won't have played in third position before. It's, a, it's uh, an E, and you get it by putting your third finger, staying in third position, put your third finger over to the G string. So, should sound like this. You'll notice that I haven't moved my other two fingers over. It can, they can stay where they are because you need to come back to them. So bars 23 and 24 go like this. Bars 25 and 26 are exactly the same. Bars 27 to the end use the same notes, but they're longer. So it's effectively doubled the length of all of the notes. The last three bars go like this. One, two, three, four. going to play all the way through. I've done an accompaniment for it. There's a short introduction on the accompaniment so that you know when to start. <laughs> 